I don't know if it's, if it's on or not, but we'll, we're gonna go find out. I took a photo of it. It is second and I. Is there a stop sign hanging? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's popping, bro. This will be sick with a 28 mil. Yeah, this is 28. Okay, let's get this. This might be the best. I'm gonna go straight middle. Dude, there are about one million cars here. This is just a busy Dude, road. a rough start for both of us, bro. <laughs> I wanna get it lined up properly, though. We might just have to freaking send it. Dude, what should we do? You ready? I'm ready. Got it. I think that was a good session, but <laughs> let's get out of here. There was like a quick look. That's cake. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little too hot for the beanie, bro. Shouldn't have done it. So today, we're gonna do some nighttime photography and see how that goes on the Sunday strolls. We got a few shots already. Honestly, it's been a rough start. Oh, no, dude. Well, that's just one. Two, it popped two off. I accidentally, with my little shutter release cable, popped off like three accidental shots. One. No, I forgot to change the shutter to bulb. That's three, three. shots down, dude. <laughs> the last shot I just got, I thought I set it a fourth of a second and I accidentally set it to four seconds. That's four seconds. Hopefully the color negative film is patient with me and it doesn't suck ass. I guess the theme for today, dude, we're doing nights. What am I saying? We're doing lights at night. I'm shooting with the X-Pan. I have some Cinestill 800T loaded up into it. So we'll see if we can get anything decent. Welcome back to another Sunday stroll. Now I'm shooting on the Olympus 35RC with Portra 400, 28 millimeter lens, so a bit wider. Goes down to f2.8. And we're just trying to capture some interesting lights. Good, is it on? Go to four and do like a fifteenth of a second. Right, ready? Three, two, one. We'll see. We shall see. And you want to just hop it to me? Yeah. I mean, it's just here. Eighth of a second and an F11. Here we go. Whew. Hot and steamy, bro. I kind of like this building. The shape is like New York-esque. One second. Two seconds. All right, I'm gonna do two seconds. Are you ready? I did like two and a half. If it's blown out, it's that's called a vibe. Oh man, it's bumping. <laughs> Oh, you know what, dude? I've always wanted this shot, bro. Let's get a shot of the empty bus station. Okay, here we go. You ready? Three, two, one. Damn, I think the train moved just a hair, bro. That's gonna piss me off. I gotta get one more. We just took two amazing photos. And what happened? I'm looking around in my pockets going, where's the lens cap? Where's the lens cap? And it's never left the lens. Holy sh that's right, dude, because these ones are about to be fire. Here we go, dude. We're going to get the train. Three, two, one. Could be fire, could be ass. We don't know. Here we go. Three. Oh, sh these people are going to hold on. 
All right, here we go. That was the one. All right. I think we should head up there. Do you see this? Like, I think it's a firestone. I think it'll be pretty fire. I kind of want these lights to go red so that it's not contrasty green red. You know what I'm saying? I'll do like half a second. All ready? Should I do another one a little bit longer or not? I went for it. I'm gonna do a 5.6 no tripod. I'm gonna go get a tighter one. Okay. Odds. What do they have here? Oh, poor Polaroid. I like little brownie cameras. Looks like one of these is a little pieces. I'm just kidding. You know what be sick, dude? I might have to get a portrait of you. All right, bro, here we go. Three, two. All right, dope. Dude, there's something kind of poetic about this scene right here. I might hit that. And then maybe we can sneak the, the Coca-Cola sign in there for nostalgia's sake. One second, F11. I'm parched. I kind of like the yellow of this one. All right, it's giving me like an eighth of a second at F4. Probably just do a 15th, what do you think? You could do both, it could be an experiment. Do a 15th first. Let's do one second. Fun, dude, all the yellows and then the one red down there. That's kind of cool. Sixtieth at F four. Should be lit. I want you to come sit down on there. If that's show, or lean up against it. Of course, dude. Right underneath this, no. Where do you want me looking? Yeah, you can look at the camera. Three, two, one. All right, last shot of the night. I'm saying the 30th. I'm going to do a 15th. I want it to be just a little lower. Okay, here we go. Three, two. drop it this time. There it is, dude. Through thick and thin. Through cap and no cap. <laughs> oh, mercy, dude. The nightlife. I'm not cut out for it. <laughs> dude, I'm worn out. Biggest takeaway, have a little more of a plan at night. Bring water is mine. Pack as light as possible. My tripod's way too heavy. We also learned that we can't leave our lens cap on when we shoot photos or else. Otherwise, total bust. How was the shooting experience with your... I mean, my I can't so what it is. Olympus 35RC, so I don't have as many shutter speed options as you. Mine goes from bulb to 15 to 30, 60, 125, 250, so there's you know, a little bit of gap in what I would hope to be able to shoot like without it being bold. But this camera is just super user friendly, very easy to use and not too bad on the eyes. This is a camera that I received from my uncle as well. That was my grandfather's. Grandpa's hooking it up, man. 
The X pan, it's fun. The wide aspect ratio, it's always a good time. What do you think? What's gonna be your favorite shot? I'm actually really excited to see that restaurant shot of yours. I also am curious to see how one of my Firestone shots comes out. I'm excited for that, dude, because it's just a well lit, it's a neon sign, right. kind of right. cinematic. Yeah. It's gonna be dope. So. Well, episode four lights at night, Sunday strolls. I'm ready for bed. Let's get out of here, bro. Dude, you know what's so I had some of your tap water before we left, dude. It was so good. You need some?